So I think my key messages were, firstly, don't underestimate your critics. Um, secondly, uh, be very prompt to rebut factual inaccuracies, but do everything you can to get your own story across and to try and explain why you believe in what you're doing and, and what its effects can be. It's only human nature that when you're attacked that you want to kind of, you know, de defend and counterattack. Um, one of the points I made to the conference was be careful in social media. In my view, Twitter in particular is, is a danger. It's an arena for mud wrestling and everyone, everyone ends up covered in mud. So, you know, although it's always very tempting to defend yourself, don't get into bar fights if you can avoid it. It's very easy in the noise, and particularly when you're feeling under attack, not to discriminate between insults and obviously kind of party pre-attacks and actual real criticisms. Um, uh, someone pointing at something which is certainly worthy, worthy of investigation and potentially may actually deserve an apology. So keeping calm and discriminating and when someone's got some, something serious to say or something serious they want you to look into, take them seriously. My advice to any sector facing you know, significant political opposition is don't play politics, don't get too drawn into the politics as such. Just make sure that you're explaining clearly to the public what you do, why you think it's, it's a good thing, not a bad thing, and let the public decide.